Mega Von in YouTube. Uh, we are in Ennis Waste and Soros Comb. Uh, I am on a blue line. Bjorin, and we are about to kill four named giants. Uh, they're um, what they call... I didn't think so. I didn't think I saw your name. Uh, these are elite masters. The four we're going after. So I'm going to go through a quick little rotation here. Uh, you'll probably see everything, considering uh, it is blue line. So uh, first thing I like to do, I like to build up my wrath. And that is with Slash. Uh, Biting Edge, which is a uh, area effect tech. Slant Smash. Uh, slam. Slam. Uh, guarded Attack, which gives me a plus one to physical mitigation and tactical mitigation, along with the damage. And then Vicious Claws, Hide. Uh, that'll give me Wrath and Interrupt Inductions if I want. Uh, it also generates yeah. Then I will turn into a bear. Uh, Thrash will let me turn into a bear and back and forth. So if you use Thrash and Slash, you target yourself. Whatever ability you're using, it'll turn it into the opposite. See, I can turn into a bear. And that's an easier way to do it without having the man and, and bear forms up. Uh, then I will use um, Claw Swipe, which is also an area effect. Then I like to use Vigilant Roar. Uh, Recuperate, which is going to be my heal. Uh, Armored Crash. Or Armor Crush. Which also uh, uh, increases my incoming damage. And then thunderous roar now this probably won't uh get used until later um because it has a long cooldown uh, if i'm fighting in there uh, i'll use hurricane um one of the ones i use a lot is is thorned armor um vicious roar is another you know mitigation uh creates a bunch of wrath and restores um health um so heart now can be used in both bear and human form, which it normally used to be just uh, just human. So that's kind of nice to be able to have access to another, you know, hot. Um, after that, uh, I do use what I call jazz hands, which is menacing mall. It is just, uh, you'll see it, it's a channel skill. Um, so as people start doing more damage, I will use stick and hide. And counter, counter will let me uh, access counter attack. And then bee swarms. Uh, that's about it. I mean, we'll see how it goes, but the first one's going to go down. I'm, I don't have to build Wrath right now, but I'm going to because I want to get to at least, um, at least guarded attack at that mitigation roller. I'll probably go into a heal here. Uh, I might save the other abilities, like the, the thorns and stuff. But basically, bear form, you're going to use your wrath. Um, when you're in human form, you're basically going to build your wrath. Take a little hot there. I drop recuperate again. Uh, you can also target them, and that'll let you use your bear form using the skill slash. See, I'm going to build it up. I'll put a little hot on me, then build it back up. Because that, that heart does take some skills, or take some wrath away there we go now we're gonna burn it again now you will see me use my other defensive skills once i get into the elite master over here but other than that just gonna be doing some bear things you know cooper it's about to drop uh, you can see it it looks like a little bear up there in the corner right here so that lets me know when it drops and when it doesn't. It's got three seconds on it. Boom. Now, same thing here. This is it. Now, this is where we're going to take some... I'm going to take the giant snow bear out first. I'm going to go this way. They like to throw you around. So Harden is up. Which is my little heal. Um, I'm going to drop into bear form now. get that recuperate um bear form with the way i have it set up too um it does i do lose health when i switch to bear form because there is so much more health in bear form uh the nice thing is too um 
it has the the wrath instead of power. So anything that would normally like drain power, uh, wrath I can keep building. So like running out of power is not really, you know, unless I get stunned or messed up. All right, there we go. Let's uh, let's switch into bear form here. We're gonna hit recuperate. Now we're gonna start to use our bear abilities here. We're gonna put some stingers on there. We're gonna use some counter attacks. Just try to you know crank up our damage here. Recuperate is gone. Get us back up. Counter again, bees. I gotta now. I'm gonna build my wrath back up. Bear drops. I'm gonna use Harton. It's not as powerful as Recuperate, but once I get it all the way up, there we go, and my Wrath is going. Boom. Drop it back into bear form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, first one down. Uh, we're still looking for Ancient Pillars, too. I think I said welcome back, didn't I? You can chat during me streaming. It's not a big deal. I will answer all that stuff. Does not bother me. Uh oh, what do we got here? Smasher. I like smashers. They don't. Uh, they don't throw things at you, and you can move them around. There we go. Drop. Boom. Rah. Okay. There we go. See, that's why I like to get my back against stuff. I don't trust these guys not to hurt me real good. Coming back out. Gonna go to Harton. Oh, and I, I do have uh, to cleanse myself. Um, I do have uh, cleanse. Oh, that's, obviously, that would be easy to remember, except for I couldn't remember it. It's the ability cleanse that cleanses. Well, I'll be... Smash. <laughs> I think two of the named guys are up here, actually. Alright, we're gonna smash, and now we are gonna show bear form again. Okay. Now that when you get stunned and stuff, uh, you everybody has an escape ability. This one's called Shake Free. Training my wrath here. Let's just find out dip out now. Try to build it back up. I think I'm gonna stay in here. I think I'm gonna stay in this form. Oh. Boom. There we are. Uh, what's this one? This is is this a pillar one? I know there's a pillar in one of these, and it's gonna pull that bottom guy. This is it. Now, there's a named guy above me, and he's about to be pulled around the corner. There. Hey, Brescott, thank you so much for the follow. That is awesome. All right, here he is. This is a named guy. Now, this guy's a real pain. As you can see here, he starts to gather, like, uh, Reckless Assault, which is going to do um, extra damage to me. As he starts to gather more and more of it. All right, we're gonna hit recuperate here. Get it flowing. We are going to start to use all our special abilities here. Uh, my wrath is all the way up. By that I mean all the way gone. Oh, hey, Master of Dungeons, Mega Vonnet, how's it going? Oh, I love killing giants. There's nothing better than killing giants. Maybe trolls. Maybe dragons. There isn't too many dragons left, though. What have you been up to? <laughs> I'll get you a, a shout-out here in a minute. 
What's up here anyway? Oh, I see. He's just like hiding right there. Oh, nice, nice. You run on a campaign? You have to be DMing if you're prepping for it. Uh, the new code this week is um, for universal ingredients, if you like those. If you don't like those, just ignore it. I wonder if it lets me keep when I go into bear. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I let you keep recuperation. There we go. Let's go get this thing. We need these for a quest. Oh, nice. Oh, you work with wizards. That's nice. I thought there was another one up here. A wooden chest? What is that? Huh? Oh, that's awesome. How many of these do I need? Three? Oh my god, there's three here. I didn't even know that. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty big in the board games, so. So I know wizards from I mean obviously from D D. Oh I should I should put mine up there. Uh we actually we actually sell <laughs> board games too. Oh, this guy's going down. He's going down real bad. Right, let's, let's pick it up. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. I knew you could fling me. I knew it. So what's your favorite board game? I was going to guess Lords of Waterdeep. Yeah. All right, jazz hands. That is a great one. All right, that's, that's two down. Just one more left, and this guy's a pain. Hey, stands in the fire, Mega Vonnet. One moment here, I'll get some shout outs rolling. Concordia. Okay, I see. So you're you're not afraid of a little uh little European flavor. I respect. Oh, Mrs. O'Bowen all over. Concordia. Mine right now is probably Wingspan. I really enjoy that one. Um, Darkest Night is another one. Plays a little bit like Pandemic with... Uh... Yeah, yeah. No, I get it. Yeah, yeah. Same thing with kind of, like I said, with uh, Wingspan. The game isn't really played that way so i really love that elizabeth hargrave is a great designer uh rainer nichtia is probably my favorite that's kind of how i design pretty aggressive with math and quick little we call them shin kicker games Uh, yeah. So it's been neat, um, meeting these designers and stuff. Uh, Matt Leacock's a really cool dude.
Oh, we're not, we're not gonna shake that one loose. Oh, I, I do. I'm a huge fan of Arkham Horror. Except for, you know, it doesn't hit the table much. Having young kids and time. <laughs> okay, okay. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, Settlers of Catan is, is an awesome game. That's like everybody's gateway. Uh, my gateway game was Pandemic. So I... Our family really loves co-op, too. I think I just like the randomness of Arkham. Just how vicious the game can be. I like a little randomness. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm trying to think. I'm actually in the board game. You can't really see them all. Oh, have you played uh, the seven-year mission, Star Trek? That's a good one. I do have the original Rainer Nitschke's Lord of the Ring, The Hobbit. Uh, I haven't played Game of Thrones except for by myself. I'm the guy who has to learn them. So I play a lot of games by myself. <laughs> oh, we got a couple... Uh, Grail games. Uh, like cool, uh, Gulo Gulo's one. It is. It's like a full scale. And then we, I, one of my, I do got uh, Game of Thrones Catan. Have you played that? That's really cool. Yeah, Fancy Flight. Yep. Yeah, I got some credit and a couple rule books and stuff. So pretty cool. I do. I love the gaming community. Yeah, it's full scale. Scale. No! No. No, there's no randomness in that. That's... Um, you know what? I'll put it up here, too. We do do uh, free... Um, print-and-play games, too, of our versions of games. Oh, what do we got here? So I'll make a thing to put our game website up in our print plays. So if people are interested. I mean, obviously, we have a card game named Poti. That'd be crazy if we didn't. That's actually how the game, how the name started, was in. Uh, I was playing uh, Destiny with some family members, and I, I um, was joining, and I couldn't think of a name at the Microsoft because I, I couldn't remember my. Well, I think my kids took my other account. So I just, you know how, you know how hard it is. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. One versus all. Did you play it? I'm guessing you played the new uh, edition of uh, Dracula, the Fury of Dracula. Scotland Yard. Letters of White Chapel. See, I, I do like a lot of solo games, too. So when I make games, I try to make a solo version if I can. Just because not everybody wants to play games all the time with you. 
forever. <laughs> it was actually a company named Weird Draft Games that kind of uh, gave me an idea of, of making solo stuff, if you can. That's a great company, too. They're actually just a publisher. Uh... This guy, he has reflection damage, so. You know, I like this. I like that my, uh, my whole YouTube video is just talking about board games. That's going to be good. It's going to be a good game. <laughs> there you go. That creates some fury. All right. And this guy reflects damage back at you. That's the thing about this cat. I have never played Tyrants of the Underdark. I do have uh, the board game, uh, ca uh, what is it? Castle Ravenloft. And what's the other one with the dragon? I mean, I, I, I mean, uh, everybody has, uh, what's the one where they don't come in? I can't remember that one. And I can't see it. So I've never played um, Under Dark. I don't know. I don't see it here. I mean, Dungeon, right? Everybody's played that. Hmm. Yeah, I do. I do like the D and D board games. They play a lot quicker. With, with kind of a feel of D&D, &D, you know? Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think of what the other one is. I can't remember. Uh, anyway, YouTube, uh, thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you next time.